All right, today we're going to be talking about the past simple and the past progressive to show how we can use both of those verb tenses in one sentence to show one action in progress when another action happened. Before we start, let's take a look at this line. This is what we're going to call a timeline. And we start and we look at the left here, and this is the past. And as we move to the right, we have the future. With the timeline right here in the middle, we're going to put a, line, a vertical line, and that's going to show us right now. Let's look at a quick video before we talk about how to use the timeline to show us about the verb. This is Dan. So with that video, we had two actions. First we had sleeping, and then we had the phone rang. So if I want to show this on the timeline, I have this line right here would show the phone rang that time, and then the green line is going to show Dan was sleeping at this moment in the past. So we have Dan was sleeping right here. And then we have the phone rang, which is the red line. That's what interrupted the sleeping. So if I want to look at this in a sentence, I can combine both ideas with past progressive and past simple. Here we have Dan was sleeping when the phone rang. The was sleeping started was in progress at that time when the interruption happened. That was the phone rang. So I have two parts. I have the main clause, Dan was sleeping, and I have the time clause that tells me when, and that is when the phone rang. The time clause has this word, when, that marks it as the time clause. I can take this sentence and I can turn it around. Here you can see when the phone rang, Dan was sleeping. Same sentence, I've just put the time clause in front. The one thing we want to remember when the time clause is at the beginning of the sentence is that we do need to have a comma at the end of the time clause. So in the second sentence I need a comma after rang. In the first sentence, because the main clause is first, we don't need a comma. I can also use while with past progressive. And while has a, the same meaning about as when, but a lot of times we use while when the verb in the time clause is in the progressive. So while Dan was sleeping, the phone rang. This one, notice it has a comma, because we have the time clause at the beginning of the sentence. Now we have the phone rang while Dan was sleeping. Same thing, I've just turned it around. And in this situation, with the second sentence, no comma, because the time clause comes at the end of the sentence. And the main clause is first. So another thing about the time clause with past progressive and past simple. The past simple is usually the interruption. That's, it. That's what we will mark as that time. The past progressive is the thing in progress, and it could possibly stop here. With the last sentence, Dan was sleeping, it stopped when the phone rang. But the action could continue after as well. That's another possibility. Let's look at this video and see. So with that video, we had two actions. We see type, and then, I don't know if you noticed it, there was a banana that hit Dan on the head. So first, Dan was typing. That action was in progress. 
Then a banana hit him on the head. A quick note about the verb hit. Uh, the verb hit, this sentence is in past simple because hit is an irregular verb. So the present tense of hit is hit. The past is hit. And the past participle, hit. There's no change with that verb. So once again, there we go. Once again, the red line is going to say be the banana hit Dan on the head. The past progressive is a thing in progress. So Dan was typing. And he probably continued typing after that. So, let's look at the sentences. Dan was typing when a banana hit him on the head. And in this sentence, no comma, because the main clause is first and the time clause is second. And here, we do have a comma because the time clause is first. When Dan was typing, comma, a banana hit him on the head. I can also use while with the progressive. I use while as in the time clauses when the verb is in the progressive. So while Dan was typing, a banana hit him on the head. And a banana hit Dan on the head while he was typing. Notice the first sentence has the comma. The second sentence, no comma because the time clause is at the end of the sentence. Let's look at one more video. With that video, we have two actions. First, we have reading, or read, and then fall asleep. So, which action was in progress? And we would probably say, was reading. And then we have, the red line shows, fell asleep. So, look at this sentence and try to put these two verbs in the sentence. Dan, when he asleep. So, Dan was reading when he fell asleep. And then in this one, Dan asleep while he, so this one will be Dan fell asleep while he was reading. Okay, just a quick review. We can have a sentence that has past simple and past progressive that can show us one action in progress when another action happened or interrupted. Um, when we do that, we'll use a main clause and then a time clause. The time clause that usually, that might use when or while, when that time clause is at the beginning of the sentence, we'll put a comma at the end of that clause. When the main clause is first and the time clause is at the end of the sentence, no comma is necessary. I hope that helps you to understand a little bit better about past progressive and past simple in sentence.